All right, guys. So. All right. Okay, so this is the Common Health Center campaign, what they're having going on today. Okay, this is uh, Common Health Center right here. It is on Dorchester, okay. Uh, directions are right here. You go to the website. I would encourage you guys, if you have any family members or loved ones that are going to the event, to um, try to get out there to your family and loved ones as well, okay. So... Um, Okay, so here is the directions to the event. And if you go to the website, okay, so if you go to this website, okay, and um, right here, you go to this, or it says the Youth Sexual Healing, Youth Sexual Health Conference. They changed the name. They did change the name. Okay. Right here. Okay. Cotton.org. You go right here. Okay, and it's called the We Are Here Community Campaign, which is going on. They're talking about sexual health and clinic navigators uh, pretty much letting young people know about their community. Not just teenagers, but also a lot of young people encouraging them to get active and, and um, involved in the community too as well. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're gonna be doing STI, STD testing today, but the, the Cognitive Center can also do STI testing as well, okay? They also will be talking about PrEP as well as um, the PEP test, PP test, contraceptive plan B, testing for teens, HIV home test kits too as well. Right here is that this is the sexual health healing conference at the Epiphany School. Um, so I'm gonna get about more about sexual identity. Um, I blocked it. So I just blocked it. Um, okay, so um, okay, uh, more about um, gender and sexual identity. STDs, STIs, consent communication. Um, they have celebrities there, Kamani James from um, Kamani James from uh, X um, Electra's event too, as well. Okay, and then from Pose FX Pose, um, Kamani James is also an advocate for racial justice and inclusion. Um, Non-binary talking about sexual identity too. That can be gift cards, food, and refreshments. It's today, Saturday, October the second. Okay, from um, kind of blocking. So it is today. Okay, today from ten thirty to five at the Epiphany School. Okay, Epiphany School at the Common Health Center today as well. Okay. Um, it's today from 10 to 5, okay, okay, it's, uh, from 10 to 5, okay, all right, so I know some, kind of going through some things are blocking it, okay, okay, so, um, Okay, so it's patient center medical, all this stuff right here. This is pretty much what they do. But if you go to their website, you can find all the information too as well. Before I right quickly have a test, I'm going to be doing a COVID vaccine too as well. I want to talk about um, STD, HIV during the COVID-19 um, pandemic. The rates of Okay, so um, before I leave, I want to share with you guys. Um, this is according to the CDC. Okay.
cdc.org is talking about this is posted july the 16th in the pandemic it said reported stds in the u.s dropped in research so as of july the 16th stds in the united states has been researched um dad is talking about um decreased but then they went back up so a resurgence in gonorrhea and syphilis cases um increased during right here um this information is available right here it says during the COVID-19 pandemic reported SEDs and um the research in gonorrhea and syphilis cases later in the year suggested SEDs may have increased during 2020 chlamydia 14 percent higher gonorrhea 7 percent higher syphilis 1% lower, okay? What they do encourage you guys to do, according to the CDC, is to get screened, okay, at clinics in your neighborhood and personal business as well. Use resources, your state and local health departments, STD staff, okay? Because also they also have staff will also direct the people to figure out what they need to do with uh, tracking and reporting of the CDs, as well as stay at home orders, which um, intended to reduce COVID-19 spread. Um, so being quarantined helped, but it also helped with STDs, but it also helped increase STDs during the pandemic. So being quarantined was not necessarily a way to decrease HIV STD transmission. Being quarantined also increased STD HIV transmission as well. And that is what the, that is what the CDC is saying. This article is dated J July the 16th, 2021. Okay, it's saying, that being quarantined actually didn't didn't factor in HIV STD testing. Okay, HIV rates of transmission. Okay. Okay. Ways that STD services can help people. Okay. Again, there's telehealth, which also helped during being quarantined during the pandemic. Pharmacies, retail health clinics, all that stuff. STD express clinics, all that stuff. But it's critical that clinics prioritize and focus efforts to control the spread of STDs. Like I said before, with people being quarantined, this includes on-the-ground support, at-home support services for prevention and surveillance programs at the state and local level. Okay, and this is all reported uh, 2020 and 2019. It shows a graph here from the CDC, a graph that, like I said before, being quarantined didn't necessarily decrease H STD HIV um, transmission rates. It says right here cases of gonorrhea and syphilis actually rose in October, November, December of 2020. It says right here according to this chart by the CDC. Okay. So you can all visit this on the CDC website. Hi Lynn. Okay, you can also visit this on the CDC website. It says right here, I have to go, I have to go get my vaccine. But it says the line chart shows weekly reported SED cases in 2020 compared to 2019 after COVID-19 stay-at-home orders in spring of 2020. STD cases dropped to 50% for chlamydia, 71% for gonorrhea, and 64% for syphilis at their 2019 levels. On the last reported week in early December of 2020, weekly STD cases were at 101% for chlamydia, 135% for gonorrhea, and 151% for syphilis of their 2019 levels. So I already read this article before about a couple weeks ago, but it says that the rates of STDs actually rose at the end of 2020. Okay. So again, all this information, this page was last reviewed, was updated on July the 16th, okay? okay so this page was last updated on July the 16th. Okay, so again, all this information is available on the CDC website. This is exactly what needs to be the focus, what, what the Common Health Center is gonna be talking about today, dealing with young people and um, exposure to um, STDs and HIV transmission during the COVID pandemic, okay? This is what's gonna be at the Cob the Common Health Center today. Okay, Dorchester, in Dorchester on Washington Street. It's very important that we focus on this too, okay? All right, it's called the Youth Sexual Health Conference here. Okay, it talks about the Youth Sexual, Con Youth Sexual Health Conference. And this is exactly what the Common Center is going to be talking about today. Today. The Youth Sexual Health Conference. Okay, they're going to be talking about right here. Okay, they're going to be talking about uh, the rates of STDs and how they rose, especially rose during 
the um, COVID-19 pandemic right here, especially in October, November, December, December, okay, the rates. Okay, all right, so this is what the common center is going to be talking about today. Here, okay, you can visit their website at common.org. Okay. You can visit the website at codman.org. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, so all this information is available on the website, codman.org, okay? Okay, and this is also you can visit go to my Facebook website link right here. I gotta go, I gotta get my vaccine because I'm late. And I'm going to the women's event today. I don't want to be late to that too as well. Okay, so this is my Facebook page right here. is kind of slow so bear with me guys okay page is really slow right here all of this is available on my website youth sexual healing conference by Robin Square Health Center okay right here okay all this is available on my website right here you go to this click this right here and you'll find all this information right here at the update for the common health center and what they're talking about today okay so i support This is right here. It's available. Eventbrite.co. Okay, right here. Okay, it's by if you could school. The address is right here in Dorchester. It's in Dorchester. Okay, all this information is right here. And you can actually go to common.org for more information too, as well. Common Health Center. Okay, so this is the Queen Battle Battle for Safe Responder Services here in in. I'm here in Syracuse for the next couple days. Okay, I continue to support the Common Health Center and the use of the youth um, sexual healing, sexual health profits uh, being delivered today in Dorchester. You guys have a great day. Happy Saturday, October the 2nd. Um, continue to support the Common Health Center as well as all HIV STD clinics that are out there giving services to the community for youth as well as to get them involved and concerned about um, the pandemic as well as concerned about HIV STD uh, rates in the community. Okay, so this is Looking Battle, Battle for Safe Responder Services Incorporated. You guys have a great day. And please continue to community of awesome prayers. You can donate um, Venmo, PayPal, Cash, um, Cash App, uh, MT Bank, whatever is necessary, okay? The, the event today is for the Common Square Health Center, 637 Washington Street in Dorchester. The number is 617-825-9660. All this information is right here, available on their website, okay, for urgent care and also for HIV and STD testing too as well. It's codman.org, okay? This is the clean battle. Please continue to give me thoughts and prayers. Happy holidays to you and your family and your loved ones. The holidays are upon us, so it is actually October festival season as well. Okay, you guys have a very happy holidays. The COVID pandemic is still not over. So I would encourage you guys to continue to go out there, get tested for COVID-19, as well as get tested for HIV STDs. Okay, the rates are not going down. So know your status, okay? Okay, so please know your status. Okay, know your status. Okay, know your status. Okay, 
All right, hashtag know your status. So this is the Queen Battle Battle for Save Responder Services, Inc. You guys have a great day. Happy Saturday, October the 2nd, 2021 from Syracuse, New York. Okay, take care and have a great day. Bye.